Hello, this is Old Man Tony here again. I'd just like to thank you for your kind words yesterday about um, my wife. Um, she is on the road to recovery, but she's still trying to do things that she shouldn't do. She was supposed to rest her foot for six weeks, but um, this morning she decided to get up holding a tray with a um, half full cup of coffee and managed to spill it over the sofa. So I've still got some training to do with her. I was buoyed on by all your comments yesterday and I used to work in an innovation team and um, I thought why don't I um, innovate how I do my um, vlogs well I can't I haven't got the spare time to do the editing and such like so I thought let's try something new one take vlogs so this is my um, attempt at a one take vlog and today I thought I'd discuss um, Brexit and how it affects bikers. So um, first of all, I hate the term Brexit. I just don't know why we have to shorten everything these days. Um, I know it's Britain's exit from Europe, but um, why, do, why do we have to keep using the word Brexit? It really gets on my nerves. And secondly, I'd like to say that I think um, this is the usual ruling class, the politicians, the money men, all those kind of people trying to take advantage of a situation. So all the things that are going on with um, the weakness of the pound, what's happening with stocks and shares, are all down to um, the money men and the rulers and all those people who are trying to take advantage, the 1% richest people in the world who own half the wealth. They're the ones that are causing all these issues for us people down at the bottom of the ladder. But it is what it is. And um, one thing we've got to do is work out how it's going to affect us. So I've been doing some thinking about how it's going to be affecting us as bikers. Well, in the short term, the weakness of the pound is going to put the price of imports up which is a bad thing when you want to come to buy things seeing as most of the bikes that we buy are imported whether from Europe, Japan, China, the USA or somewhere else in the world but on the other hand the bikes that we produce in this country namely Triumphs are likely to start doing better and we'll find them exporting more but how is it going to affect us so we're going to pay a bit more for our bikes our spare parts and so on and um, probably the uh, the dealers will start ramping up the prices if they see prices going up so we might pay a bit more for our servicing but um, we needn't do. And then, what about the price of fuel? Well, we buy all our fuel in dollars, and therefore the price of fuel is going to go up. So it's going to cost us a bit more. But um, we'll see how that goes. But um, we've seen high prices like this before. So um, maybe it won't be so bad after all. I'm just got to put the lead on the dog while I go on the road. Right, so the price of fuel might go up. It costs us a bit more to go out on our trusty steeds. And also, um, if you want to do touring holidays and that sort of thing, if you're going to mainland Europe from the UK, then you, everything's going to cost a bit more. But um, how much more? We're not really sure until things settle down a bit more but certainly if I want to go and tour Europe tomorrow it's going to cost more than it would have done at the beginning of the year but we can always go touring in the UK there's plenty of nice places to visit the only thing we can't rely on is the weather so um, that's uh, the disadvantage of that now people say about having free access to Europe 
for our trade and all that sort of thing. Well, actually, that's not going to have an appreciable effect. I was listening to a debate last night and the average tariff that most people, most countries pay to export their goods into Europe is about three and a half percent. So now well, that's not awfully appreciable. It will have an effect, but um, it might start driving efficiencies. And if our um, manufacturers are paying out a bit, or having to export more, then perhaps their efficiencies will increase. So that maybe won't have an effect. But um, I don't think I'm unduly worried about how this is going to affect biking. Probably a um, little bit higher prices here and there, but I think in the long term they'll level out. So we'll have to wait and see what all the money men and ruling classes do to try and affect how we live our lives in the UK. The big fly in the ointment, of course, is Scotland and the Scottish National Party, who are doing their best at the moment to make things a lot worse for us. So um, if the Scottish get themselves sorted out and realise which side of the bread is buttered, then um, things will improve there as well. So this is my first attempt at a, a one-take vlog. It's not a motor vlog because I'm walking, because walking is when I've got the time with the dog. So thanks again for all those nice comments you made yesterday. I hope this video is not too shaky for you. I hope you tune in again soon for more vlogs from Old Man Tony. So on a sunnier Norfolk morning, this is Zane Old Man Tony. Time, 39. Goodbye. Thanks.